Race family, we're at the track, guys. Can't wait, this is my second home. I love being at the track. It's Friday, baby, so time to race. Quick update, not the update you wanna hear, but you know what? Maybe it's water, or shit, maybe it's oil. Lunch. No fuimo. We out. Back to the track. family guys quick introduction and we're off to the races today's another track day these are my favorite days i got the car in the back of the trailer or in the back of the car on the trailer all washed up my brother helped me <clears throat> my brother's been staying with me today all day today got my wife the baby my brother and we're on our way to pick up my mom and we're going straight to the drag strip baby track today to guys today we're going for sevens today's the day car's in good shape we're gonna turn the power up and see what she wants to do so say hi guys this is my brother Leo. I believe it's the first time on the channel. This is my clone. If we, uh, if I'm struggling to go sevens, I put him in the car, and if he can't do it, then I put the wife in the car. <laughs> if it comes down to it, I put the baby to drive. <laughs> Weight reduction to the max, <laughs> guys. I'm gonna pick up my mom and straight to the track. I'll see you guys there. Today's gonna be an awesome day. There's a few other supers going out there, so it's always nice to have a bunch of supers out there together. All right, guys. See you soon. Race family, we're at the track, guys. I got my brother with me, and these guys are like family as well. I met them over at Bradenton, and we've been in constant communication ever since. They're great people. I can't wait. This is my second home. I love being at the track. It's Friday, baby, so time to race. So it's always a family atmosphere, man. I love this. It means a lot to me that they all support what I do. And let's not waste no more time. Let's throw the car down and give it hell. I just saw a second ago, Danny Rowe. He's never, I've never recorded that car for this channel, but I'll show you guys briefly. It's a Baltic Blue Super, just like mine. Um, beautiful car. That car, I want to say it was an originally a six-speed car. And recently, he went TH400. He's gone bottom eights in the quarter mile. Beautiful ride as well. Danny, what's up, brother? What's up, man? What's going on? Good seeing you, champ. Good to see you. What's up, guys? Good seeing you, guys. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Pedro, my pleasure. Right. What's up, man? Pedro, my pleasure. No. Do what? Everything's good? Yeah. Putting the bumper back on. Yeah. Well, I brought some tools if you need anything. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think I have a bag here, too. Um, yeah, just going to throw the bumper back on it. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Check this out. Everyone's wearing the Baltic merch. Oh, shit. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, guys? I wasn't expecting you guys. I know. Hey, man. You got your Baltic shirt, Maggie? Come on, baby. Guys, quick update. Not the update you want to hear, but you know what? It'll be all right. We're holding our heads high. Um, as soon as I got the car off the trailer, I had it just idling there. I was about to go take it to tech, and I noticed there was like some drips underneath the car, and I went to inspect it right away because we just got done washing. I said, maybe it's water or shit, maybe it's oil. And sure enough, it was oil. It's motor oil. Um, the oil feed line that runs to my turbo, what, what feeds obviously oil from the engine to the turbo, had been touching the exhaust manifold. And so today, um, I went and bought like a heat sleeve, a second heat sleeve on top of the heat sleeve that was already on there. And I put it on, um, I bought some like stainless zip, uh, zip ties, like metal zip ties. And I kind of like pulled the line out of the way so it wouldn't be touching the header anymore. I did everything that I could to prevent it from happening. And it wasn't touching anymore, but I guess today trying to slide the heat sleeve on it, just kind of forcing it away from the header, just kind of messing with it. It was already like brittle or bad. And I'm assuming it cracks, it's leaking right from the line and there's drops of oil underneath the car. I'm glad I saw it, I mean, it sucks. I had a bunch of friends and family there at the track ready to see the car run. Um, but I'm glad we saw it right away and we're gonna get it fixed. So I'm glad I saw it. Had I not noticed that and went racing with the car like that, the oil could have gone underneath the tires. It could have hit the exhaust manifold and ignite, like turned into fire. 
Um, so we saw it. My buddy that I introduced you guys to earlier, he I met him over at Bradenton Motorsports Park last month while I was up there racing. He's a huge super enthusiast, him and his wife, soon to be wife. Pretty Come much. on, bro. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're running back to my house. The Super that I have in my house, the 98 Quicksilver, the beautiful Super that I have at home, I've been pulling parts off that thing left and right. The other day I put a sticky note on the front windshield. I wrote diff, uh, oil drain for the turbo. I swapped mines out for his. Now it's gonna be oil feed. Every time I need something, it's like a you pull and pay. My buddy was crazy for letting me take that to my house. So anyhow, well, I'm going back to my house really quick. Luckily, I don't live far from the track. I got the tools with me now. We'll get that line removed, come back to the track, put it on. And I don't need a lot of passes, guys. The car, I know exactly what it'll take to run what I want. So I was planning, I wanted at least three passes for the day. I wanted to go like a bottom eights, just like an easy A to B pass, and then start turning it up from there. But if I see I'm running out of time, we'll just turn that fucker up and go for it. Just go for the sevens. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, All right guys, I got the keys ready to go. Let's see how fast we can do this. Get the tools from the back, puppy. Let's do it, pit stop. Everyone's at the track. Go, 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 go. You can actually come, I'll show you the house last one. Go, 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 go. My dog's gonna be like, what the? Foxy, we need parts. Oh, opening this to show up my boy, last of the view. This is beautiful, man. It'll be open in a minute. This thing is huge, but yeah. we just got the fence installed for the baby around the pool like two days ago. Yeah, we see it. And that lake goes all the way to like Delray, all the way up north. That lake goes far, far away. Say what? It connects? Yeah, yeah. Bro, people, yeah, you get jet ski there for miles and miles and miles. So you said you had two jet skis whenever you're in town? Yeah. All right, guys, like I said earlier, my buddy Robert's crazy for letting me bring this car over here. Anytime I need parts, I'm always stripping it. All right, hold this, hold this up. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Just look at it. Off. No fuimos. We out. Back to the track. That's like the simplest thing that could have broke. I wish I would have caught it here at the house. I'm trying to see if there's any oil spots anywhere, but I barely used the car. We washed it through it on the trailer and took off. So that's it, guys. Back to the track. That's the simplest thing we could have needed from the house. My ID would have been a little easier, but I remember that this time. All right, we out. Robert, thank you, brother. Robert's the owner of the Super in the garage. Always coming through big. All right, guys, straight back to the track. We'll probably get there at night. The track's like 25 minutes from my house. So we'll haul ass back. That's the part that I can swap out really quick, take the car to tech, get it inspected, and then get it in the lanes. All right, guys. Hello. I spoke to the kid in there. All three of us were already here. We went to get a part for the car. He knows, he knows. Yeah, you can put the window down back there. Hey, we're back. Remember, I went to go get the part. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, back to the track. It's almost full nighttime. There's a good turnout at the track today and a good turnout of Supras. There's not usually a lot of Supras that come out here. Yo, 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 Baltic Super in the house. What's up, guys? <laughs> That's that racing channel. They sent out some of their uh, film crew out here to get some badass videos it's definitely a good turnout 
I feel like it's a little cooler than it's been the last couple of days, but still, Florida heat. I think it's like 79 degrees. What's the car say? 78 degrees. 78. Yeah. All right, drop me off right in front of the car. I'm feeling the header like I'm on. I'm feeling heat. The hell with that one. Let's put a new one. <laughs>
The 60 foot didn't feel great. I love guessing. The 60 foot was probably a 142. The 60 foot didn't feel that strong. And then the rest of the pass, if I had to guess, maybe an 840 at 169, 170. Oh my God, this car rides out. God. Guys, that was an 822 at 173 miles an hour. That's exactly what I knew it should have done for the set, for the tune that I had in here. It just didn't feel that fast. I'm getting too used to this. That's a solid, solid pass. A 143.60 foot, I got that shit right. So I can't believe it went an 820 with such a bullshit 60 foot. That's a very, very weak 60 foot. I turned it down a decent amount for the first pass. We'll have to turn it right back up again now. So nice to make, see the car make a good pass with family here. There's a lot of people here today at the track that know me, guys. Tell me you were next looking there. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, hit two step. <laughs> Family, we've only gotten one pass so far, guys. There was an oil down at the track now. I got the car turned up a good bit. This should be a 790 pass right here, but they have us all on standby and it's getting late. I wanted two more passes, not sure if I'll get them. What's up? What's up? What's up, baby? I missed your pass, bro. Oh, it was pass? nothing. No, you missed. Powers car make? Uh, 15 and change. Yeah, it's fucking nasty. Yeah. Guys, so I'm gonna go get a, a glimpse of his car. There's a bunch of badass supers here today. I'll film more of Danny Rose's car as well. This is a Baltic Blue TH400 car. He's got a badass 1500 horsepower, six speed Supra. I missed the pass, um, or, or the two stuff, but that shit was wicked. <laughs> but I heard it, was like, bah, 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 bah. and then somebody mentioned the diff. I could have sworn you were still on the stock six speed diff. Oh, oh it's got crazy. Dude. No, no. I've broken too many of those. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Keep breaking them. When I got to the track, my oil feed line was leaking oil, bro. It oh, broke. Shit. So I got it off the trailer and I saw it. I was like, fuck. So I ran back home, got another one, and came back, swapped it here. Nice. Here we are. It went, eight, it went 820, first pass. 820? Yeah. Yeah. You already went? Oh, yeah. wow. First pass. Nice. So it was a 142, nice, 60 man. foot. It took like all the power out. Oh, I just wanted to go A to B. Terrible. Nice. It goes 128. That's what I'm saying. So, but, so I, I know I you took, can do one I took two. all the power out just to go A to B, and it went 173 at 44 pounds. When I went 8 0s a month ago, that was 50 so now pounds. Now you're feeling good. Send oh, it. Oh, it'll, it'll go. It. Oh, it'll, there's a lot left. What about you? Are you, are you oh. sending it now? So, this, I would like two more passes. Wait, this is like, this yeah. should be a 790 yeah, pass. But then it could probably go like 780, so, which is what I want. Uh, oh, I know, I know, bro. One more pass. I know. <laughs> I know. Danny, what's up with your car, brother? What's up? What's up? Give me an update. Uh, getting out some gremlins right now. A couple cuts. So, uh, I think we got it figured out. Fuck yeah. So, you want to show us the car a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to film all the badass supers that came out to the track today, guys, but fuck, I had to run back home, get that oil feed line. By the time I got back, got my car ready to race, a bunch of time was wasted. So yeah, three liter, um, 83 millimeter turbo. Yep. A little bit of nitrous just to leave the line, turbo yep. 400. Pretty basic, uh, stock axle, stock rear end. Yeah. Uh, all tech engine management. So this car, this car was six feet before. Yes, it was. What yeah. made you go to the front um, the consistency uh, at the power level, I was breaking parts. Um, you know, breaking those trainees get expensive, with, with, obviously with the supers and stuff. And uh, you know, I just went quicker. I remember when you went TS400. I think you kept it quieter. I didn't know. And all of a sudden, right, you're in right, Texas, right, yeah. ripping everybody. Yeah, we did it like a week before Texas. Yeah. <laughs> this man showed up to Texas 2K. Everyone knew he had a six-speed super. Shows up at the TS400. Had and spray to leave the line. This yeah, shit yeah, was yeah. dialed in. Yeah, it was. It was running good. We were on the on, in Mexico on the street. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, we had some fun out there. 
and did pretty well. The car is a beast. How much power has it made before? So it made 1300 on a dyno jet through the Turbo 400. Yeah. And which is hard. Which is very hard. Yeah, yeah. The, the Turbo 400 the takes a lot of power. Yeah, it sucks up a lot of power. Um, you figure it's a little more maybe at the track with the more load and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, a couple more pounds of boost and stuff. So. Fuck yeah. You've owned yeah. the car for a long time. I've had this one for about a year and a half or two years. Oh, no way. I thought you had it for a long ass time. No, I had a great one before this. Got and, it. Uh, so I had that one for another year or two. So I've been, I've been a super owner for about four years. Good shit. This man's got a Hellcat. He's got a badass speedboat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it goes a little bit. Uh, well, it's not that fast. <laughs> All right, guys. They just announced it. Last run of the night. I'm going to open the lab. I don't even know if I'll have time to turn it up. We'll see. Fuck.
Bro, you saw what that ran? Yeah, you saw it pop at the end? It's like, pop, 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 pop. Yeah. I lost all the power. It would have, the way that I hit you, and it, yeah. it, I think it was the fuel. Why is the mile per hour go down? I think it's low on fuel. It went pop, 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 pop at the end and broke up. No, it'll do it, bro. No from an answer. For, I don't take no. I'm an easy convincer. Fuck yeah, we're racing again. I need this. Yeah, Let's go. 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 let us Stay tuned. So close. I ran two mile an hour less than last pass. I had like six more pounds of juice. Yeah. So that would have definitely been a seven. Uh-huh. Oh, we're gonna get it now. this, you got one of the fucking little sorts of The gear changes like butter. It goes perfectly straight. It leaves like soft. There's no trans brake, but I like big hit. Bro, this bitch rides out.
pretty fucking much. This car is incredible. There's nothing like this fucking car. There's so much left in this car. So much. 785, 182.95. Guys, people would say the factory Toyota training couldn't do that. This is the factory Toyota train, fastest Toyota transmission, period. Six speeds are in the dust. God, since I bought this car, there's been so much, so many people, right, that obviously rather have the six speed or would talk down on the automatics. I, I couldn't say shit because the six speeds had gone faster in the freaking quarter mile. They've gone faster in the half mile. They've gone faster in everything. But I, with this Toyota Auto Trans, am going to take down any six speed. Quarter mile record's already mine. There is no Toyota transmission in a Supra that's gone faster than this. Auto or manual, don't give it, don't matter. This is the fastest, and there's still so much more I can add. That's only a 135 60 foot. I could probably get a 125 60 foot, but the track was just the prep wasn't there. I turned down the launch at the very end. Oh my god. <laughs> The laptop got launched to the back seat and I'm strapped down. Hey, hey, get my laptop. <laughs> and I brought it back down just to fucking look, get it to go. That's smart. 182 miles an hour. That's insane. Flying, yeah. Bro. yeah, when I left, it just spun. Oh, by the way, you weren't in the groove and then you got back. You got yeah, you a little bit in the groove. You weren't all the way in the groove. There was no. Like, you were way off to the right. right. No, we, we did that on purpose. There's no groove. We walked it. There was no prep. Well, this car like, oh, oh, the, the groove didn't yeah. prep. Okay. It's like Jason had the one told me. Typically, the groove's the best for where you want to be. But it, right? the prep was gone. Yeah. Danny went right before because they didn't spray it. Bro, that is unheard of. I've been 80 cruising. You didn't even break in 790, 780. I'm watching all night. I utilize the little new stars for the Look at his slime skirt. Oh, shit. I've never done that ever, 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 ever. They expanded. You know what, man? <laughs> what would make you happy? Anything. What was that, Jason? Say it louder. Anything in the sevens. Seven nine nine would make you happy. How about a seven ninety five? Is that pretty good? Oh my god! I went a seven eighty five. What the fuck? Ah! Guess the mile an hour. Hundred eighty three miles an hour. 3,400 pound car, baby. In fucking Florida heat. Jason, this bitch is riding. Hey, listen to this. That's, that's not the half of it. The track prep was already shit by the, end, the very end of the night. This was my last pass now. I fucking spun the tire leaving. I put that bitch in reverse back to the line. I pulled up the laptop, brought the two step down so we could just leave. I got a 135 60 foot. Last time we went 128. I got it. I got it. 135 60 foot and the shit went 780. If we go, if we can get a 125 60 foot, we almost have six, seven, six, six, six. I go up to the line. I lean on the car a little more. The track prep just isn't there anymore at th this late at night, so it blows the tire. I put the bitch in reverse and I go back to the starting line. I'm like, we gotta do this again. I had somebody reach over, I'm strapped in, got my laptop, I brought the two step a little little further down. And guys, check this out. I still can't believe it. I was shaking in excitement. The car still got a crappy 60 foot, a 135 60 foot. 
but the car ran a 785 at 182.95 miles an hour. We're doing this here in Florida in 80 degree weather. Um, this isn't great, a great DA by any means, but the car is just crazy. I bought this car bone stock, and the fact that it came this far blows my mind. That's part was you backing up when you when you. Yeah, you know, dude, I off. had to do it again. I knew it had it. I knew the car had it. Backed up. I don't care what they say. We're doing yeah. this again. I said shit. Everyone wanted to see you do it, man. It's and awesome. then we went back and yeah. we knocked it out of the park. 